Tina. I am a undergraduate biologist at the University of Sheffield. As you can tell, I am not in Sheffield right now. I am in Hong Kong. I've spent eight weeks experiencing the amazing culture of Hong Kong, including eating incredible food, visiting stunning sites and meeting awesome people. And so for summer 2019, I am working on a research project with the Life Sciences Department at the Chinese University of Hong Kong. I'm really sweaty. It's very hot. The ecological project I conducted was marine based and it involved both field and lab work. So we're doing a project on how gastropods are affected by ocean warming, basically snails, and how they are affected by climate change and temperatures rising in the oceans. Very fun stuff. We collected all our samples from a beautiful field site in East Hong Kong, near Clearwater Bay. Joss House Bay is a combination of rocky shoreline and sandy beach with a man-made structure. This is on the edge of Hong Kong, really far away from campus, but it's the best place we've found biodiversity. There isn't much activity here, other than a couple of local fishermen, who gave us very unusual looks when we started swimming in the water. This is Kat. Say hello, Kat. Hi. Anything you'd like to say to the viewers, Kat? Science rule. <laughs> Definitely does. <laughs> We snorkeled to collect snails and seaweed. We made sure to collect from a variety of different rocks so not to disturb the local populations. For this project, we're looking at three different species of snail, Monodontra, Lunella, and Chlorostoma. And we're looking at how these guys differ in the way they react to rise in temperature. And they're pretty cool. The lab I worked in was based on the coast of a beautiful bay on the edge of campus. My walk to work was always gorgeous, cutting through the science park complex where I got lunch every day. This was our lab, which was still pretty new, hence all the move-in boxes. My supervisor was the awesome Laura Falkenberg, who alongside Kat helped with my project and made sure I didn't blow anything up. For the experiment, I had temperature controlled tanks and monitored the snails on a daily basis. I looked at their respiration and their feeding activity rates, as well as morphology and survival using a number of different core equipment. Oh, and this is James, who is a PhD student. He showed up in the last week and didn't really know what was going on, so. At the end of the project, I put all the results into this funky poster and presented what we found in a conference style setting. This work is being continued by Laura, Kat and James and will hopefully be a published paper by next year. Currently it's about 35 degrees. I'm sweating so much. A lot of people ask me, why do I study what I study? I think it's super important. As humans, we have been using the Earth's resources and putting out byproducts that are harming our world's health. Everything's interlinked. The ocean, the forests, the animals, the plants, us. Being the most dominant species on the planet, I feel we have the responsibility to make sure that we take care of our, our home. I think everyone, even just a little bit, should be conscious about our environment. Even doing little things as a whole will make a big difference. Especially this year, we've had a, a really big rise in awareness. Hopefully in the next five, ten years, we're going to turn things around.
and um, I'd like to be a part of that to contribute. Let's see what we can do, guys. If you enjoyed this little behind the scenes science preview, make sure to subscribe and like the video so you can continue to get updates as I go into my masters.